approach takeoff, turn right on course. There's Patty. Okay, here comes Patty. Okay. Who's Patty? Here we, go. we just got started. Okay, let's go. Okay. We gotta get going. Right. We got weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so All right. Patty. Yes. Shareaviation.com. Okay. Shareaviation.com. That's right. Yeah. Rock and roll. We're, we're we're excited to have you. No and more breakfast pictures. That's right. And <laughs> and don't do not take it easy on him. Is all I'm saying. Really? Yeah. Oh. Let, let him have the let him have the full Make sure experience. he gets a six sack. Right? Exactly. Right. Oh, I got that. What's up guys, this is Josh from Mystery Aviation 101 and I'm here in the airplane with Patty Wagstaff and uh, we're going to go do some aerobatics here in St. Simons, Georgia. So, so sprung on me at the last minute, uh, pretty great opportunity and I'm super excited. So I'm just going to record one handheld Copy. camera here and uh, we're going to go have fun. Yes, man, you can make a... Okay, here we go. All right. Oh yeah, I'm all over the place. I can't see anything. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we're so much faster than everybody. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna go down the coast. Sounds beautiful. How many G's was that? Uh, four. Okay. The most I've felt is 5.5. Well, oh, we've got traffic on this uh, screen, but um, if you see anything, let me know. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Just in case it doesn't go up. Thank you for this. Welcome. So let's check your seat belts. I'm going to roll upside down. We'll make sure you're nice and tight. Make sure you hang on to your stuff. Okay. And we'll see how that little, uh, how that, your audio stuff does, okay? Okay. Did that, uh, everything hang in there? Up, oh, stay right foot. Okay. We'll go a little further north before we do more. Okay. It's hard for you to film and uh, see this house down here with the big flat white roof. Uh, uh up there ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. It's really wild. It's owned by, some, I guess, a famous artist or uh, sculptor. Oh, yeah, I would assume. What's the horsepower on this airplane? It's about 3.30. <laughs> yeah. I'm 150. Yeah. Well, uh, and a totally different airplane. Too, oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Much, much lighter. And you added that power in. Wow. Is there an airborne frequency? Uh, Aerobatics? Yep. Let's go. Got it. That's how far we are here. Go six miles out. Oh, we're just going to do a roll. Okay. Silent departure. Silent departure. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. We'll do one to the right. 
All aircraft taxi for departure. We are monitoring the frequency. Looking for occasional arrival, but we are flagging the off the damage. Hello, check for traffic. Dress up on the There's a little sick back down there. Yep. And the young lady at the approach end of the runway is the finest looking one of the bunch. Uh, we'll do a loop for ya. Alright. Probably made her smile. Five G's. Five G's? Yeah. Oh, okay. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. <laughs> you want to hold the camera up and we'll do it again? Yep. Okay. Take so get the top of it. So, now make it look ahead of it. Yeah, like that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's beautiful. I think it really slow. On the top of that loop, how many G's are we pulling right there? Uh, zero G's. Okay. Yep, that's one. So that's where you're floating. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So if you're just flying straight level and booted, yeah, how do you feel, okay? Yeah, feel good. Okay. Tell me if you start feeling icky. Uh, like here, we're, we're one negative G. Yeah, negative one. Exactly, negative one. Now we're negative one and a half. And now we're zero. Okay. Got it. So, let's do... Let's check the traffic here. Oh, we'll do a hammerhead. Before we do that, let's go straight and level for just a minute. Okay. I'm not feeling sick, it's just like vertigo. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And if you do feel like it's, it's normal. Oh yeah. So... I haven't done this in a long time. Also, I think it's hard too when you're trying to film something and do it. Is that you're so focusing well. on another thing, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I just wouldn't trust the suction cup out under those loads. It works. I, I have one. I have a couple that yeah. I use, yeah. But just recently, I run four GoPros on my airplane. It's just, this isn't my plane. It belongs to the dealer. And, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just didn't want it to get stuck on there. Not that they would really care, but... Right, right. But on our school plane and on my other plane, I have got a bunch of them. Just getting it off the field. Oh, yeah. But hard. That sure is nice up here. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh yeah. I really like this part of the country. Yeah, I've never, I've never been out here at this part of the East Coast. I've been up north to the Carolinas, but never down here to Georgia. It's really unique. Okay, whenever you're ready. Alright, you want to try another maneuver and then go back? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got chapter 8. Let's see, they're a little bit ahead of us. Go back this way, we'll turn this way. Okay, you feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wanna do a hammerhead with you. Okay. Let's do it. So what you wanna do is look at the left length of the hammerhead with your camera, because you won't see anything going straight up. Exactly, yeah. I just want to get some room so we're not in the clouds. And... There's a space left, there you go. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, huh? Oh, wow. Oh, look at the of it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, do you want to fly this for a minute? Yeah, I'd love to. Alright. So, I don't know how you're going to do that and hold the camera. Oh, I'm not. Okay. I'll set it down. Yeah, and I won't do it, you know, just don't do any airbags and you'll be fine. Oh, you can put it right in the middle of your seat. Okay. okay. Yeah, just, just go ahead and do a turn or two and then... Ooh, touchy. It's very sensitive, yeah. But it's nice, you get used to it pretty quick. Why is the altimeter doing uh, this? Uh, there's something wrong with it, don't worry about it. These things go out all the time and they go that plane. Okay. And yeah, stay close to the shoreline. Okay. So did you fly your 172 out here? Yes ma'am, from San Marcos. Oh cool. How long did that take? A couple days? 
I don't know, we did it one day. One day, really? I went up to Dallas to, so we filed IFR, I'm only a VFR pilot. Yeah. And um, I took a CMI with me. Yeah, and yeah. Also because I, I feel like I'm getting complacent flying the same airplane. Yeah. Constantly, so I wanted to, I wanted to get a little more time with the CFI. It's a good idea. Yeah, so, traffic. Where? Yeah. 3 o'clock. Alright. Same altitude. Okay. Got him, thanks. Yeah. So. Um, that's great. That's a smart thing to do. How many hours do you have? Uh, after this, right now I have 263. Okay. So not very much. I'm gonna do a left 360 here. And then I'll give you controls back. Okay. Um, yeah, about 263 hours. My dad and I made the investment to buy a 172. He's also a private pilot. And, that's uh, cool. We bought a 172 and my dad and I are flying all over the place together. And we're, at, we're just having a blast, and especially with Sherry Aviation here. You know, I'm, I'm going to take it from here just because I know where to go. Good controls. Thank you. Uh, behind you down. Just go ahead and move all the way down into the end and uh, I'll just hide. Yeah. These are alpha it is, isn't it? Look for the flags at the end. They'll flag you off when you're ready. NC Time Ends Exco 326 Lima Tango is uh, six mi four miles north. We'll be entering the downwind for uh, four. Direction. Okay. And since I'm in next to a six limit tango, three north, uh, heading to the Whitewater Tower. Alright, traffic, uh... Yeah, wait, listen. Alright, Daddy, Roger. Do you want to go to, uh, left downwind? That'll be fine. Oh, I, you know, I couldn't hear you got stepped on. You want me to do the right downwind? I'm happy to do that. Uh, you directly to the north, you can do the right downwind. <laughs> Coming in for the right downwind. Be number one when you get there. Okay. But for some reason, you're kind of hard to hear, too. We're inbound as well. Can I hear the Unicom uh, ground controllers? And 6 Lima Tango, how do you hear me now? Ancest, uh, about two miles to the north. Uh, what's your heading on track? 387 Papa, we're uh, heading 120 currently for the White Water Tower. We're to land, and uh, it'll be a turn off at the end. Clear to launch it. Turn land, turn off to the end, to the exit, thanks. Departure midfield, the right downwind with an extra runway 4. In sight, we're holding the rest. Patty, the runway's yours. Here I come, thank you. This engine. I can tell. She's the, uh, she's the tower controller at, uh, Lakeland. Oh, okay. And her husband was, uh, the tower at Tampa. They're really super people. How's oh, that for a slip? I always slip. Oh, that was nice of it. Look at all that traffic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Left downwind runway 4, Roger, continue. There'll be a couple departures for your arrival, clear to land runway 4. Okay, watch for the departures, clear to land runway 4. You just let me know if this camera's in your way. Thanks. That all aircraft taxing for departure at uh, McKinnon St. Simon's Island. If you're going to do a run-up, do it all the way at the end. There's plenty of taxiways at the end of Alpha. Do your run-up at the end of Alpha. Those that have already completed their run-up, Plan to use Alpha 1 for departure. Look for the flag. Well, thank you very much for that. You are welcome. the flag. My pleasure. Departure, uh, we're downwind on uh, left downwind for 4 with the uh, left. The next is clearing. Thank you. Eight zero nine nine one. This brown one off to the right, right here. Trying to land long runway four. Land long because you're going to have to turn off at the end for. That's my baby. This one here. Eight zero nine nine one. Awesome. Long and uh, all the way to the end. Three, two, three, That's what I said. She needs new paint. Roll a couple in front of you. Just bring it on around. Yeah. 
Yeah, very nice airplane. We just got an IFR equipped. And so this this whole uh, cross country here from Texas and back is kind of uh, kicking off my instrument training. That's a perfect idea. Yeah, that's another reason I wanted my CFI friend to come with me. Oh yeah. And overall, what more do you get at this point? Um, exactly. Well, I'm going to get this thing filled up. If, if you want to bring your logbook up, I'll get it signed before I take off. I'll hey, try hey. to. We were up, we were up for like six hours, right? <laughs> exactly. Yes, we were. Even though this jet only has fuel for like two. Oh, does it really? Uh, there we go. Alrighty, uh, Mike will help you. Alright. Alright, perfect. Yeah. Well, see you in the one. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, so I just went up in the airplane with Patty Wag's staff, and uh, that I'm supposed to do a debrief here. I don't really know what to say. Uh, that was that was absolutely insane. I haven't done aerobatics in three years, and last time I did it in a Cessna 150, and we just did it in an extra. So uh, we pulled about six Gs. We did rolls, loops, hammerheads, and uh, you saw the slip we did on final. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. Got to control the airplane, and it was it was like nothing else. That was an experience I'll never forget, and it's in my logbook. So uh, yeah, big thanks to Patty Wagstaff and AOPA for springing this on to me at the last minute. But fantastic experience, and this is something that I'll never forget uh, for, the rest, check out the video for the rest of my life. They can check out the video on my YouTube channel, Mr. Aviation 101, or shareaviation.com.